Good evening, I'm Alec Nolan. The Beachy Creek Fire has caused mass devastation and destruction in Oregon. Tonight we spoke with one Bend man who has lost both his mother and brother to the flames. It's still hard to believe. It still feels like it's not real. A nightmare. That's what Travis Cook feels like he's been living in over the past two days. His mother, Kathy, and his brother, Justin, were tragically killed by the Beachy Creek Fire in Marion County. Travis last spoke with his family on September 7th as the two were packing for evacuation. He says he knew something was wrong when he didn't hear from both of them the next day. After a week of searching for Kathy and Justin by authorities, Travis's worst fears became reality. The Marion County Sheriff's Office confirmed to Travis on Monday that both his mother and brother didn't make it out in time. Prior to the devastating news, Travis and several family members drove from Bend in search of answers. He says he knew something was wrong when he called and all the phone lines were dead. Travis's brother-in-law, Steve, showed up the next day. He still can't fathom the reality either. Hardly anything left of the vehicle that they were trying to get out in. You know, the, the uh, wheels on the car were melted off. We asked Travis, where does he go from here? I still don't know, to be honest with you. I, it's been so hard to take this in and to even accept it. I still, to this time, I, I, I don't know. Travis says his mother and brother never received a level three get out now evacuation. Despite their efforts to escape, the wrath of Oregon's wildfires were just too much. His message to others who find themselves in similar dire circumstances is clear. Leave if you can. Don't wait. Why wait it out to, to find out the outcome of, you know, of what's going to happen? It's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. The Beachy Creek Fire is more than 190,000 acres and is now 20% contained.